Three, two, one. I hope you brought your snacks and drinks because today we've got a 4v4 siege battle on Total War Rome 2 that is over an hour long. So be sure to get ready. Now this battle is sponsored by Ivacy VPN. Uh, check out in the video description if you're looking for a good VPN. Don't look any further. Look in the description. They've got great VPNs, whether you want more privacy, whether you're trying to watch the UK Netflix. Uh, there is a discount code in the video description as well, which you can use on any, uh, any plan except for the one month plan. So again, guys, check it out all in the video description. And now we will dive into the fight. So look at this battlefield, guys. Look at this. This is massive, all right? We've got 4v4, like I said earlier, huge amount of troops. Look at this giant settlement over here. You got the layers, nice barbarian settlement, defended by all barbarians. In fact, we have a lot of barbarians in today's battle. Uh, so it's gonna be, in fact, I think all barbar, we, every faction is barbarian. You know what's really cool about this? I finally have figured out how to turn on the, uh, the paint tool. So now, guys, I'm going to be able to draw out, like, tactics and kind of explain better what I'm talking about by being able to draw uh, different, uh, different stuff. So, yeah. All right. So that's going to be sweet. So let's go ahead and look at these factions before the units clash here. We'll start with the defenders. So there's two Iceni armies. And then, and then there's two Arverni armies. So, uh, they again, Arverni, Iceni, two very good barb factions ready to hold down the fort. Now, attacking, we've got a good mix, and we've got something unique going on here. So, we have the uh, Nervi, Nervii. So, Nervii ready to go. They're opening fire with this uh, giant ballista here, Celtic giant ballista, trying to bring down some walls. Next to them, we have the Swaby. So the Swaby, they've got a lot of good scare troops, a lot of like spooky troops that break a lot of units. And uh, here's more Nervii over here. And then we have the Gothi. So these guys are so goth. Now I know Gothi are not part of the vanilla or standard Emperor edition of the game. Uh, the players agreed to allow one army to be part of the Empire Divided uh, campaign. Because that would help give the attackers another advantage because this is going to be a pretty challenging settlement to take. And then finally, for the last faction, we have Markomani. So, all barbarians. Pretty sick, guys. Pretty sick. Now, I don't know if these guys are Empire Divided faction. They might be, but I don't remember. I, I certainly have never, I rarely ever see these guys, but... Yeah, they've got some pretty sick looking troops. Let's go Let's go back over here where it looks like we are going to see some siege towers scale the walls. It's a pretty light defense. It seems that the defenders are kind of giving them uh, the wall, at least initially, because they can easily send these troops into place once they, uh, you know, once the attackers start attacking. And then they could really set it up so the archers can like open fire on them from a distance and kind of from a flank. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, over here, it definitely looks like they're holding a more tight defense where they're much closer to the walls. Again, it's really important that you don't lose these siege towers. In fact, we've got some chosen spear band moving up here as, uh, oh, some artillery's coming in here. Oh, oh, it's so close to destroying these chosen spear band. So uh, yeah, the towers are kind of just making their way. I don't. I mean, this is going to be a pretty tough terrain to, to push these towers up on this hill, but they should be able to do it. And then back over here, the walls have been destroyed, so this is going to be another entry point here where the attackers can use and pour up infantry and, and kind of get behind the defenses a little bit. You see that? They can push up here and then strike here. Oops. I was trying to draw an arrow. I don't need to do that. Uh, but yeah, they can pull up here, strike here. Uh, of course, they're going to have to take on them. But it kind of gives them an option uh, to attack that area. And then back here, here we go. Siege towers are about to uh, drop the drawbridge, and they're going to cross on this uh, this wall. I'm really curious to see what this infantry is going to do here. Now, actually, look at this over here. The Iceni already taken on Nervii. Celtic Warriors taking on some sword ban. So already we've got a fight 
for the walls. Nervi is taking the lead here. Has taken the lead in terms of this attack. And more Nervi uh, forces are coming to push up. Uh, right away, I would try to take out this arrow tower. It's going to be... Oh, my God. It's... Oh, my God. They just got evaporated. God, they just got evaporated uh, by this chosen spear band. Uh, great use of the Javis. Uh, really made them suffer. But, yeah, they're going to fight for this arrow tower and try to take it and neutralize it. More and more infantry closing in. Uh, we've got... Oh, my God. Look at this. Can we just take a second here? Look at all of these troops that are about to unload onto the walls here. And remember, these are the Gothi, the Gothi troops. So uh, they are going to have superior equipment, uh, superior weapons, uh, armor, stuff like that. And they're from the future. So they're like, what's the future like? Rome. Lots of Rome. Uh, but there they go. They're charging in and taking on the Celtic Warriors. And sure enough, I mean, they did not push up. So they're taking more of a defensive stance, at least in the center there. But they are pushing forward on this side. Uh, so maybe uh, they are using some deployables here. So maybe they're just kind of using that. It's a staggered defense kind of situation. Here comes more infantry running through the, the buildings here really quick. And we have some gothic axe warriors about to meet them. Ooh, the axe warriors. Look at that leather. Look at that armored leather on him. Look, it looks like he's wearing his dad's oversized leather armor. <laughs> Obviously, it's big because it, it needs to be able to, you know, they're wearing a lot under that. You know, it needs to be big. They can move around and fit comfortable, comfortably uh, under that armor. Anyway, so they are pushing hard down this way and that's going to cause a a break in the center now they, they've got to get all through these sharp stone beds but they might be able to run behind that's what certainly what i would do to try to get behind these troops here because there is a big brawl going on if you could help out the infantry you'd be you'd be doing god's work you could always send one unit to plug this gap so these uh these swordsmen here the gorilla swordsmen can plug the gap here and then send the rest. Beautiful. Yep, that's exactly what he's doing. We got some more gothic axe warriors coming around the flank. Getting hit with arrows, but it's totally worth it. They're going to flank around these uh, Celtic warriors. So let's take a second, slow down here. We're just now, uh, the replay still has an hour. Uh, so that's, that's crazy. We just uh, broke a little less than an hour left in the replay um but yeah nervy uh nervy i nervy jesus nervy i is uh having a tough time over here they've they're breaking some units um they've got a couple storming in but that's okay uh they are keeping these troops occupied over here swaby at the same time is pushing forward swaby is breaking but again i mean they just got to try to do as much damage as possible their allies are are having a lot more success over on the other side so yeah, uh, just full on break here from Swaby. But why, see, this isn't good right here. This right here, not good. Uh, they should have all of their kind of forces pushing up. Honestly, I wouldn't, I would have, I would have like gone up with my ally to push over that way. I, I just don't like separating the troops too much. And uh, you know, they, t they used up all that ammo to break down this wall, but they barely used it. So I think that was number one, number first mistake there by the attackers. I think they should have all been bunched up right here, and they should have all focused right here. I mean, maybe have a couple troops go around, keep the defenders honest, you know? But I think if they just had their forces more concentrated, they could do more stuff like this, which is uh, flank around these troops. And we're seeing uh, the Iverni start to break here against the Gothi. The gothic boys. They're so goth. And then we had the Marco Manny with their Germanic axe warriors, really relying on the axe warriors. Oh, nice little javi tosses there in the incoming infantry from Arverni. Oh, but they return the favor. We've got a clash of angry Ger Germanic boys. <laughs> 
it's kind of like watching ancestors kill each other. You know? It's like watching them slaughter each other. Nervii over here starting to break. I mean, this defense over here is just holding so well. And finally, Swaby is pushing up. But why... Why are they pushing up like that? Um, see, this is kind of like a sign that this is a newer player. This kind of formation. It just means that he selected all of his units and it just dragged them forward. I guess, you know, they're not attacking, so it's not a big deal. But if archers start firing into this blob, this could be a nightmare for him. Over on this side, this has been a complete, complete loss here uh, for the attackers. Just not able to break through whatsoever. So, I mean, this is really in the hands of Agathi and Marco Manny. Um, I, I think, honestly, they are the ones who are having the most success against this defense. And they kind of just need to focus on this side. Make the defenders have to peel troops away from this front, right? And then help hold back uh, the Gothic soldiers and Marco Manians. And that will kind of give an, a window of opportunity for their allies to push in. More troops. Second wave of reinforcements. Beautiful to see that. Beautiful. They still have a ton of troops back here too. Look at this. Look at this. A ton of troops. Uh, which they should start marching up. Now that they've kind of taken this first layer, they should definitely send up more troops. They don't want to lose it. And it definitely seems like Arverni's here to fight. Arverni's not going to give it up so easily. Still lots of Arverni infantry. So that's a pretty pretty tough fight over there. Again, oh, no, oh, hold on, hold on. We're seeing some Gothi troops, some Gothic warband coming around. Uh, maybe, well, no, they're coming in to help. They're coming in to help the Nervii. Oof. Yeah, they're certainly coming in to help because they realize their allies need help here. And also at the same time, the Gothic soldiers can hold back any reinforcements like if if the defenders try to send reinforcements to come this way they can kind of hold them back with the defensive stance here they don't even have to push they can just kind of defend or they can go here and here and defend and protect their flank i guess you got to defend over here actually uh and protect their flank from getting hit while they're pushing up this uh this hill here which is going to be a nightmare So, still some fierce fighting, but it looks like uh, the attackers have this more under control because of the reinforcements that have appeared. They really need to just start marching more and more troops, which they are. You got some armored Germanic swords. These guys look sick. Look at them. Crossing in the river. That looks awesome. So cool. So wait, okay, check this out, guys. Check this out. This is good. Swaby is sending over some round shield swordsmen, so they're sending over some infantry to help their allies. Instead of just constantly sending waves of men to die against the uh, the the stones of defense here, uh, basically, you know, like I'm just not seeing any progress over here. I just don't think it's possible. The defenses are too strong, and there's no there's not enough siege towers for Swaby. It's just not looking good. So Swaby decides to come over here and basically help the advance of their allies, uh, the two allies that you know are basically having success here. So Swaby's coming in to uh, help with this front, and Arverni's coming around the flank because they defeated. The Gothi uh, troops who are trying to hold them back, but actually they're going to hold back here. I thought they were going to move in for uh, an attack, but there are some Gothic Axe Warriors ready to uh, hold against that push. So, yeah, it, it seems the Gothi faction is doing great, and his ally who's right next to him, which of course is the Marco Manny. 
bit of a grind here, trying to take the uh, the base of this hill. And Swaby is now full on fighting the Iceni. Some supporting Javis coming in from uh, the Gothi. Some round shield swordsmen coming in. Is that do they have more infantry? Ner Nervii, they also have some reserves they could send up there. You, like you just can't give up this position. It's like the Gothi are just using the Swaby as uh, as just like peasants, you know? Oh, there they go. They're coming in now. I was just saying they were sitting back there just watching. But I think they're going to go around the flank and hit them like so. Ah, but look at this. I see he's coming in to stop that flank right there. But also we, we have our Verney pushing in this way. So that could be... Yeah, they could get sandwiched between two barbarian forces. Uh, but Swaby's starting to break here. Ooh, we got berserkers from Swaby moving in. And here we go. Our Verney's pushing in. Oh my god, Gothic Warband ready to hold against these guys. So Gothic Warband trying to hold uh, this flank because obviously if the Arverni break through here, they're going to be able to attack this, um, this center point right here, which would be a disaster. But more infantry coming in. The attackers kind of losing momentum there on that push. They need to send up more troops. But a nice fight going on here. And uh, ooh, our Verney is destroying the Gothic Warband. But Swaby has sent in Berserkers, guys. The Berserkers have been called into action, and they are just wild men. They will destroy anything that uh, gets in their way. So a lot of barbarians killing each other. You know, Rome is just sitting back and just is like, yes, well done, barbarians. Slaughter each other, and then we'll sweep in and take out all of your homes. Swaby once again breaking. I mean, Swaby's having such a tough time holding against the Iceni and Iverni. They need to send up more troops. I don't know why they're being so passive with these troops. At least with my mentality, what I like to do is constantly... Basically, it's like... What I like to do is, for example, I take this point here. Okay, now what I do is I move up all of my reef, reef, uh, reinforcements right by the wall. And slowly trickle them in whenever they're needed. Uh, you know, oh, I took this point. Okay, then I move up the reinforcements here. That way, they're always really near, close by, uh, to support the, you know, the the battle. They're not super far away. There's just no need to have troops so far away like this. Push them up. They're they're not getting hit with archers or anything like that. Uh, but th the good news is that they are pushing up some warriors over here. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this warrior's name, this unit name, but I'll just call them warriors. But yeah, they're close by, ready to support. And then, of course, we have a bunch of these armored Germanic swords by uh, Marco Manny. Alright, Nervii has sent up some naked warriors. They're gonna try to... They're going to try to scare off the other barbarians by grossing them out. It's like, dude, put some pants on. Come on. I got to fight you with that thing dangling? Like, come on. <laughs> some, some freaking pants, man. Ew, ew. You know, like, ew, I'm not fighting. Screw that. Uh, but yeah, that, uh, 
A nice little stand here. This might be enough to break through this what's left of this. But again, Iceni has plenty of reinforcements. And what I was saying earlier, you know, this defense is getting lighter and lighter as they continue to push troops over this way to this side of the battle. Uh, and that's going to put an opening here for Swaby. So Swaby's kind of been waiting patiently here. And they might find an opportunity to push. So we'll see how that plays out. It really is. I mean, it's so important to make sure you got uh, plenty of reserves. Make sure you, you save some troops for the late game. Because siege battles truly are a battle of attrition. Here come some reinforcements. Armored Germanic swords because the Gothi troops are, are the Gothic troops are breaking. And now we also have some Germanic scout riders. I guess they dismounted. Coming in to support. Oh, look at this. Some Gothic troops over here now. Oh, yeah. And they're going to meet the Iceni to prevent them from reinforcing this uh, front line. At least a little bit. They're a little bit kind of protecting it. Oh, no, no. Nervia is one. Nervia is one. So now they can actually reinforce the Gothic troops who are holding against Iceni. Oh, this is a juicy fight right here, guys. Juicy. All right, Swaby's coming in with reinforcements. Oh, good volley there. The scout riders. Let's see if they can get another one. Come on. Oh, no, they're going to take a volley. And they'll meet them in battle. So they decide not to use... What? Are they retreating? It's a little messy over here. This whole battle has just been messy. So, pretty gruesome fight here. The They kind of settled down over on this side uh, where they're not pushing... Uh, the uh, the hillside here this little ramp that leads up to this point which would be a huge victory if they do take it because Well, there's no retreat from over here. I well no, there's a cliff over here. You see this so they can't they can't retreat So this is kind of like a last stand from these troops and if you take it This is gonna give you a great attacking point because you're gonna be able to set up archers here and you can fire down in the inner part of this uh, this defense so I think it is actually quite quite critical that they push up here clear it out set up some archers right here and fire down on the enemy defenses you can also hold this as a choke point you know you could hold this right here as a choke point if the defenders try to retaliate and try to take it back you know you could hold it there easily so this is a great spot and the, the defenders are light on troops over here it, it could it's not gonna take much to take this over but uh, this battle, oh my god. Well, they should give this hillside a name or something like Bloody Hillside or, or Bloodstained Hillside because it's just been back and forth between these two armies. Whoever's controlling this hill, I mean, at one point the Iceni's got it and the Iverni. The next point, uh, the attackers got it and it goes back and forth. Now, right now, it seems that the Iceni has it under control. But you know what? It seems more like the attackers have it under control because uh, no longer are we seeing any defenders over in this point. And uh, wow, they're... Oh, hold on. They're not attacking this? Okay. They, well, they should definitely send something up there to start attacking it. Send these guys. I mean, you got to take this. You got to take this. But yeah, no. Uh, Marco, uh, Marco Manny and the Gothi are just... Focusing their troops against the Iceni here. They want to take this hill. But yeah, I mean, jeez. This is, uh... This has been just a blood... A bl I mean, look at this. Look at all the dead troops here. It has been a bloodbath. Now, Arverni... I'm sorry, Iceni both breaking here. So this is a huge victory for the attackers as they're starting to push back the Iceni. 
And I see near starting to run out of defenders over here. Oh, Arverni, Arverni coming to hold this point. Get out! Armored Germanic Swords not pushing up too far. Again, I, I really, I really want them to take this. I really want them to take this. Like, send up another... Look at they've got the reinforcements. Send up another wave. Look at they even have archers who have not even used any of their ammo. They have archers who have... Longbows, excuse me. Longbows who have not used a single shot here. And they could be devastating if you get them up on this, this, uh, this wall. So I really hope to see them push for that point soon. I see he's got one unit of chosen spear ban. I do like the fact that they are pushing over on this side. Again, because uh, they can hit these defenses hard from this angle. Uh, meanwhile, I see can start pushing this way as well. So you kind of got the defenders in a in a sandwich situation. Mm, sandwich. Barbarian sandwich. Delicious. Tasty. Nice. Look at this. Look at this. I love this move right here. Uh, the Gothic soldiers, what they did is they uh, used the uh, wall, right? Oh, I can't draw on it. Used the wall to, to walk this way and kind of get behind the defenses. I see any obviously seeing that. They're going to counter flank here with some sword band. You know what's great about this battle replay? It's running very smoothly. I mean, there's a lot of troops on the field of battle right now. It's running so well. Here comes the reinforcements, guys. And is this... No, there's still another set of reinforcements. Look at all the archers. Look at all the... Ar Not only is Marco Manny holding back archers, but also the gothic... Uh, the or gothi gothi oh my god gothi is holding back skirmishers they got some gothic slingers so uh they've got plenty of ammo to start softening up the defenses but at the same time the defenders are being wise as well they also have plenty of um forces hold back these and they are the mercenary hoplites that's cool so yeah they've got some hoplites to help them hold lots of fiery balls of death here Lots and lots of fiery balls. Nervii is pushing over on this flank again. I guess he's just kind of like, hey, why not? Got some uh, skirmishers over here too. Horse runners. But, uh, I don't know. It just I think they could have waited with these units. But maybe they're just trying to distract the defenders here a little bit. I just think that if they waited with these units over here, and then once the uh, the main army that's pushing over, you know, over here pushed up, then you could kind of hit them from a flank, you know, while they're busy defending here, that kind of thing. But it just seems like they used them really early. And I see he's holding their ground. Look at that, holding their ground against these guys. And I am seeing arrows come in. Are we seeing arrows from the longbows? Who is that from? Yeah, the longbows. They're finally one unit has been called up. I think I think the attackers realize that they need to start. I mean, it's it's great in ev in everything holding back your archers for late game and for the the final stage, but you got to use some you, you know, some ammo in terms of taking out defenders. I would say that we're just now entering the uh, middle stage of the battle. Uh, not you know we just left the early stage which is kind of crazy um, but hopefully we get to see an attack here we got a lot of berserkers over here look at this oh a lot of berserkers they're gonna be devastating start sending up some troops take this out it's it's a it's really my OCD is like just not having it like I would have taken that out so early is because it's just like it seems so important at least to me it seems important but more reinforcements are coming in from the attackers attackers we have nervii uh, Marco Manny, uh, Gothai, 
Gothy, sorry, Gothy, uh, pushing for forward. Berserkers taking control of this arrow tower. I don't think I would have sent Berserkers to cap the arrow tower. But it's not like the arrow tower is shooting at them, so it's not a big deal. And finally, here we go. Look at this. And look, they attacked Slingers. They wiped out a bunch of Slingers. The Berserkers leading the charge here. Again, I wouldn't have Berserkers lead a charge. Berserkers are a support unit. They're considered, look at them, they're mad. They're mad boys and they're here to take your toys. Uh, but these berserkers are light infantry. That means that they are weak to skirmish fire and projectiles. So sending in berserkers in a front like that, I think that they're, they're better as a secondary unit or a flanking unit you know, or a supporting unit. Not something that will hold a front line. And they're going in alone. I mean, they're, they're going to do a lot of damage for sure against these uh, spear band. I just think they could have done even more damage if they weren't being focused by um, projectiles. Oh, here we go. Swaby is, uh, is starting the push now. Swaby is starting the push. So all those troops who are waiting in reserve have finally been called up because now's the opportunity. So that was a good move by Swaby. Very good move. Much credit to him and his teammates. Good work there. Nervii pushing forward as well. And uh, yeah, look at this. Iceni have pretty much given up, M minus the troops holding the walls, the rest of the forces have decided to hold this point here. So they're now falling back to strategic points to hold this city. And oh, finally, after guys, real time, real time of like 20 minutes, maybe even more, the fight over here. I mean, was just insane. I mean, look at the death in this one area. The absolute slaughter for this hillside was insane. Really great uh, battle there. Berserkers are going berserk. They also have some reinforcements, some armored Germanic swords trying to break through. These spears are only going to last a couple more seconds. They're Actually, they're routing. And now we've got slingers coming in. But that's going to be it, guys. That's going to be the last of this. Also got some slingers over here who are actually getting some kills. They're wavering. They're not going to last long. But, hey, they're doing what... I mean, that's what these battles are all about, guys. I mean, it's really coming down to making sure you use every single unit to the fullest potential. Do not let a unit get die without getting kills. And, um, you know, think of it as... When you buy a unit, they've got to pay for themselves. They have to pay for themselves. Or you're, it's a bad investment, you know? Not to get all businessman on you or anything, but, uh, you know, you, you invest money into units, and if they don't do the job, then it's just you're, you're throwing money down the drain. So you got to look at it that way and make sure every unit pays, you know, for the price that it costs to bring them, plus some. Uh, but there they go. They finally defeated all the defenders here. They're going to go take this arrow tower. They need to get a little bit closer here. Just a little bit, like, right there. Just push up a little bit. Because uh, they're just losing men and not capping. This is a huge win. There they go. Okay. Uh, but here we go. The attackers. It's official, guys. It's official. And sure enough, guys. Sure enough. The defenders have fallen back. They have fallen back because of this point right here and that is why that is why I was saying that they needed to take this point so desperately right because if they took it earlier right if they if this was their main focus like as soon as they broke through here they just just hit this defense hard that would have caused these men to retreat much faster they're retreating now, but, you know, they got a lot of kills. They they held their ground over here. 
You know, they fought hard for this hill over here. Uh, but if you took this point early on and put archers up here, that would have caused a huge panic in the defenders and would have caused them to retreat uh, much quicker. But now is the stage where troops are going to... Like, armies are now going to be able to very easily push up troops. And this is going to be tough for the attackers. I still think they can win. If you look at the balance of power, definitely have a shot. It's it's even. It's, you know, it's not like they're at a disadvantage. But it's going to be tough to take on this defense at an even balance of power. So we'll see what they do. Again, we also have to consider that they have a lot of archers. So they're going to be able to sit back and skirmish these guys down quite a lot. Um, we'll see what happens here. I, that's what I assume is going to happen. They're going to be a, more passive. right? The attackers are going to slow down here a little bit. They're going to send up their archers. They're going to basically skirmish them down until they're out of ammo. And then they're going to push up the infantry. We'll see though. We'll see. And let's not forget about this flank right here. Let's not forget about this. Because now you're in a situation where you can hit from the rear. And you're going to make them have a two, kind of like a, uh, a two front defense here, here and here. You know, and it's going to really help out. So these troops waiting in reserve, these, these are going to be important. Also, Swaby has some troops over here, which they need to push up this way. So I'm sure they are. All right, well, okay, so I had to cut out a little bit of a skirmish there. Uh, nothing really going on except for a lot of shooting. Uh, but I'm actually pretty surprised that it really that it wasn't that long of an edit. And uh, we already have troops from the attackers pushing forward and cancel that. No, I think they're falling back here. So maybe they are, they, maybe they are gonna take it here a little slow. But look at Arverni has pushed up some troops. It's been a very back and forth. At the very, at the very least, I can kind of recap, or not recap, but just summarize what's going on here. Uh, troops have been running back and forth. Uh, the attackers have sent up like de depleted throwaway units. I think they were trying to activate this trap here because they are pretty afraid of it. Because if they send up a lot of troops, they're going to get hit hard by all the fiery balls of justice. Um, same thing over here. They're pretty pretty afraid of these fireballs so they're trying to do something about it but nothing really seems to be working it almost seems like they're just gonna have to take it on like they're just gonna have they they're gonna send one unit this way and hopefully um, they use the trap with just one unit you know don't send in like a hundred troops here because obviously the fireballs will come down and kill you same thing oh there we go see they they perfect they just used it prematurely on one unit, and it barely killed them. You gotta make sure it doesn't hit these guys, but it looks like they're gonna stop here, which is good. Uh, but yeah, that's what you need to do. And there we go, they're using them over here as well. Why are they using them? Weird. Very, very weird. Here we go, the defenders have actually pushed down and started the attack. Arrows coming in. There we go. The archers are uh, are in play here. We also have some archers in the center, releasing their arrows. Another thing I saw over here. Look at this. Look at this cheeky little move. We have uh, Nervii pushing up some siege towers to the back side of the settlement. Is it going to do anything? Probably not. But hey, it's creative and they're trying to do something. They're certainly trying to do something. Woo. Good volley right there. Excellent volley. So a brutally tough fight here. We also have some warriors closing in as well. Some gothic warriors. Heavy melee infantry. So it seems like the infantry is starting to uh, 
really get oh wait no he's falling back he's falling back interesting oh wait here we go here we go infantry pushing forward using a wedge formation I think he's trying to avoid as much damage from the fiery balls of justice oh no oh no hey you know what that's what you got to do though it's what you got to do it's the only way to counter it send up one unit a, a weak unit that you don't mind losing or I mean of course you're gonna mind losing them but something you will mind less you know you'll mind less losing send them up and there we go the fiery balls are gone they can now send up more infantry to attack this point without the worry of the um, the deployable uh, things you know like the fireballs and stuff let's see if they uh, send up yep yep they are sending up more troops old sworn nice where they're gonna take on chosen swordsmen a battle of elites here they kind of just like casually walked into each other and now they're slaughtering each other beautiful here we go Swaby sending up a spear wall And I wonder when they're going to begin the attack over here. I mean, all it is really is now uh, nervy eye with troops over here. Oh, here we go. The gothic uh, soldiers pushing up. Their flank is exposed, though. Their flank is exposed. They might want to have some reinforcements over here to support. Just Because if I was them, I'd just send a unit around and attack the rear. Because there's really not a lot of infantry. Finally, infantry is pushing forward from over here. Swaby sending in even more. Oh, they're sending in berserkers. Oh, my God. Look at this. This fight. Just an avalanche of troops coming down. I see he's starting to break, though. Too much to handle. Too much to handle. And over here we've got the Gothic soldiers starting to break. Again, I don't I don't know what he was trying to do there. Like why did he go in without reinforcements? Maybe it's a little bit of bait. So the archers could get in range and open fire. The longbows are doing that. Let's see if they're getting any good hits here yeah they're getting some decent hits on these guys but I just think that unit was too precious to just use as bait oh there we go nice little volley nice little volley berserkers falling back Iceni sending up more reinforcements. Again, we've got another bloody standstill between both armies. And it's going to be such a grind to see who's going to take this one. Victory for Gaul. Celtic slingers in position here. We got a general moving up. Honestly, we've got four more units left of the Gothic army. What's left is just archers. So in terms of infantry, it's just four units. So armies are starting to uh, starting to get depleted. I think both sides are, are honestly getting very depleted. Swaby pushing up more troops. These are the sword masters. Woo wee! Like I said, guys, this is just a look at this fight. Oh my god, the chaos in this battle. Wouldn't it be awesome if like Bannerlord was this size? You know, like 
if the battles were the sizes of Rome 2. It'd be crazy. No, I think in Bannerlord, not to not to talk about Bannerlord in a Rome 2 video, but I think you can have up to 500 players online. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I heard. Oh, wait. What's going on? Oh, nice. Okay, look at this. Nervi has begun the, uh, the push over here. Levy Freeman, Spear Brothers, trying to break through the Chosen Spear Band. It's going to be a tough fight, especially with the support of the Arrow Tower. Oh, and more troops are coming around the flank. Look at this. Oh, my God. The Gothic soldiers sending, going around the flank. This is going to be huge. <clears throat> and I would say we're just now entering the late game of this battle. They're going to try to get... Let's see. They just got to activate these. Oh, jeez. They are taking... Oh, my God. This hill charge. These poor men. These poor, poor men. Can they activate them? Oh, they broke! They broke right before they could do it. Because the enemy can activate these tra uh, these traps too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, they're wasting ammo on them. They're wasting ammo on a breaking unit. Fantastic. It's a little victory for the attackers. But yeah, they really need to try to push here and take this spot. Because if they can flank around all these troops, so many defenders will die. Just a slugfest over here. So I think the attackers will win this initially, but even if they break through, so like, okay, they got through the first layer, which is basically this, right? Oh, so it's like this area, this area. It's kind of like the first area. Secondary area, of course, this. They are about to break through that. But then, then guys, they're gonna have to deal with basically two choke points. There's a third attack area this way with the siege tower, which they're holding back. Which is smart on them, because what they could do is they could take the troops attacking over here, make them go around this way. It'll take a while, but they could go up this way and attack the back side. Um, that way you have, you know, that way you're using as many flanks as possible in bringing down this defense. Oh, now we have the Nervii General coming in. That's how you know things are getting... Uh, pretty desperate once a general joins the fight two generals swaby swaby has their general in as well now archers that's another sign of desperate uh, situations just sending in whatever you got archers out of ammo send them in oh wow how did this happen? How did they get behind the Iceni? Well, nonetheless, the defenders are on a full-on retreat. We've got 14 minutes left of this battle replay, and it's still unclear who's going to win this fight. I think the... Uh, the attackers did a great job of conserving their ammo. They've got the Berserker Horde pushing up, which this is going to be pretty terrifying to take on. As long as the enemy... Oh my god, look at this. The Berserker Horde. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, the Berserker Horde is going to be a problem for sure. Hehe. <laughs> 
and uh, yeah, they've taken control of this point, and now this is the final stand of the defenders. Archers, again, again, they're trying to use these archers to activate these uh, traps, uh, but Arverni doesn't doesn't take the bait. They, they're going to push forward and prevent them from being able to get to those traps. Is this arrow tower being pushed forward? Maybe it's stuck? I'm not sure. Maybe. Oh, there we go. They activated one. Oh, how is this happening? Oh, there's one dude over here. And he just killed, he killed his own men, but he also killed uh, a lot of the enemy. Oh, gotta watch out, gotta watch out. He's like, oh crap, fiery balls of death coming down. Uh, but yeah, one guy over here, one cheeky little guy activated two of them, killed a lot of the defending forces. That's awesome. Archers are moving up, slingers. It would be cool if you could um, activate these traps with fire arrows and just kind of light them on fire with fire arrows. I think that would be pretty sweet. Now the archers are at it again. So again, guys, we're going to have a little bit of a skirmish phase here. Slingers, let's see. Trying to fire overhead of these rocks, trying to hit the enemy archers. Or enemy slingers, I should say. And they're gonna fire back, of course. So once again, like I said, we're in a bit of a slow skirmish phase here. Alright guys, I think I think the attackers are gonna get ready to attack here. Uh, you you missed a little bit, nothing really too crazy. They were just sending up like depleted archers to try to activate these traps. They were able to activate a couple of them, uh, but overall the defenders held and defended their uh, fiery balls of death here. Um, but yeah, uh, some warriors pushing up. Warriors pushing up, and it seems that more deadly infantry is about to join this fight. Uh, ooh, our Verney's actually pushing down over here with some chosen swords, uh, swordsmen, and our, and the Iceni. They are actually pushing down because it seems like the attackers are just going to focus on this front. Yeah, that's what I would do too. I mean, I would get aggressive here. I like seeing aggressive defenders. They're going to come around here and hit them on the flank. And now the berserkers. Oh. There we go. Oh. oh, that could have been devastating, but not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, they're walking. Oh, it's rolling back. Why is it going that? It must have hit the house and it's now rolling the they're walking through it. Even just being oh god. There they goes. There it goes. Berserkers charging upward. Look at that charge! They don't even care! They're so wild. Oh my god, these fiery balls. I, I think they're doing more good than... Or, I'm sorry, more bad than good for the defenders. And look at all the javies that... It stopped! All the javelins it just protected these berserkers because of this ball right here. That is hilarious. That's why I usually don't use those things. They're just impossible to get... To... to like, very rarely are they used effectively. Oh my god, berserkers, man. They need to send up more troops, though. They can't just go in with one berserker. Oh, there goes another one. <laughs> but yeah, they need to get it. They need to get into this fight. They, they need more men to, to support them now that the fire. Most of the fiery balls are gone. Also, again, they're just so desperate. I'm trying to, trying to activate these traps, these uh, fireballs, and then we got hoplites defending them. The mercenary hoplites. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no 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 no! It's gonna kill. It. Yep. Even if it's going like 0.1 miles per hour. Yep. 
That's too bad. Uh, but now Berserkers are moving up along with the general. We got uh, some spears holding back a uh, chosen sword band. Berserkers going berserk. But again, you know, he's spearheading with berserkers. These reinforcements need to push in. This, I mean, I know it's looking tough for the attackers, but it's not impossible. I like that little, that faint charge there. You had all those berserkers going this way, but then they just push this way. It's a good move right there. Let's see, what is he doing with this general? I think the general's thinking about trying to activate the traps. Look at all these guys. Into their bellies. So they're just opening fire on them. Berserkers pushing up. I see he trying to hold this line. There we go. More infantry to come in and support this attack. I'm not sure what the Gothi, uh, Gothi forces are doing here. I mean, are the archers at least? No, not even the slingers are opening fire. They, 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 they need to send something up here. Oh, the Swaby General. This is the Swaby General. I, they're pretty much just holding this front. Berserkers going ham. This is good. They're making good progress here. It's like you see a lot of defenders, but it's a... Well, they still have a lot of infantry, but it's also a lot of archers as well. If they can get some sort of chain route, which is what we're seeing. We're also seeing generals fight. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, just missing that unit. Just missing this unit. But, yeah, they're sending up a unit over this way. Which is good because you don't want them, you know, you don't want these forces to come around and hit the flank of your attack. Now we have a general pushing forward. They're, they're, this is it. This is the, the moment of truth right here. Can they break through this defense? And this is it. This is what's left of the reserve. Can they break through here? It's not looking great. It's not looking good. Uh-oh. I see he's going around the flank. Yeah, these guys are... Well, they're not... They're still holding here a little bit, the attackers. But the defenders are just doing such a good job of holding their ground. There's that push. It's weird. I I thought the uh, a capture point used to be like right here, but uh, with this one, it's back over here. Cause I remember in Rome too. Instead of like balancing the game, they just made it so. Uh, the in the settlements, the capture points like in the middle. But I guess on this map, it's not. I don't know. Like I, I swear, I remember it being over here. There you have it, guys. It's looking like this is going to be a defender's victory. They just don't have enough to break through here. And, it, you know, I, I got to give credit to the attackers. This was a brutal, brutal battle. I mean, just look at the carnage everywhere. I mean, especially right here. The fighting for this point was just 
devastating. Just gruesome. I mean, look at all the fighting that happened everywhere. Just an all-out war here between these barbarian tribes. And, uh, yeah, it was a costly one. Certainly a costly one. But, again, a victory for Iceni and Arverni. This is a very tough settlement to attack. And, uh, you know, it comes down to just a few choke points. It's hard to flank around and whatnot. So, again, huge, huge credit to the attackers. I think they did very well here. Uh, just just couldn't get it done. I think they made some mistakes over on this side early on. That They, they could have saved some units over here if they just waited to attack. Um, but overall, like I think their attack was solid. It's just, it's just such a tough defense to break through. We're at the last seven seconds here as uh, the gothic soldiers try to fight and that's gonna be it there you go guys costly victory for the defenders let's look at the, the uh, results here so um, we've got this was sent in by pacifist um, doing a good job everybody really did a good job of the defense here uh, about pretty much everyone pretty much got the same around 2,000 kills um, over on the attackers really good job by uh, Gibson who was bringing the, um, you know, he was bringing the uh, Empire Divided Army. And also we got Dog Up Your, oh my god. Come on. Come on. What is his name? Uh, who's going as gothy. Um, but yeah, just Swaby kind of struggled there quite a bit. Um, and just, yeah, like the kills, like the Berserkers. I always send in Berserkers as a you know as a support unit in my opinion got flavor just under 2000 did pretty good uh, but just not enough to take it so yeah that's gonna wrap it up here guys for today's battle i hope you guys enjoyed this one it was an hour and seven minutes so that's pretty crazy uh but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time on the battlefield <laughs>